Welcome to vlog number four, 8.15 right now. We have a super busy day planned for us. We're gonna go down and make some phone calls. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. Yeah, one of the biggest things when actually calling every single day, people are like, why do you go to the gym? Why do you eat healthy? And things like that is that you can't have the energy and I'm standing up the whole time. So when you're making calls in the morning, whether you're negotiating, you're calling a client, you are trying to get a listing, anything, or convincing a buyer to work with you, whatever the case is, asking for referrals, you need to have the energy to keep on doing this every single day. So go to the gym. You have to be as efficient as you can. That's why I stand, that's why I eat well, because by the end of the afternoon, you, I don't know if you saw it yesterday, but I was exhausted. And then I got a little pick me up at like 3 p.m. I made a couple more phone calls and left the office at like six-ish. That's all I could say is energy management is the only way to really be successful now because there's a lot of hustle in this game. We are on our way. I know I said it yesterday in yesterday's vlog. We're on our way. We had two pitches and one of them, they potentially might be using someone else. And the reason that I wasn't able to go there is because I was doing another pitch. So Adam went down there, he met with them. I said, don't choose anyone, Let, let's just meet. So I called him like three or four times yesterday and I'm gonna meet with him right now at his place and convince him to work with us. So that's where we're going. Gabs, by the way, you made it in last time. She's gonna be a star one day. I'm gonna make her a star and then she's, she's gonna leave WeWork, I promise. So our office is right here in Times Square. I'll tell you two things that are really funny. Number one is I never noticed the, the honking in New York City until my brother brought it up one time. And now that's the only thing I noticed right now. And the second thing is there are more smells, more different smells in this area. It's like you'll go from like cigarette to pot to like garbage to people to literally everything. This, this is the epicenter of New York City right now. Also, two things from yesterday's vlog. Number one was that we stopped in, I gave in a card and actually ended up calling the owner at like 6 p.m. I had like I had like no energy, but I ended up calling. He rented it out and I'm gonna call him in eight months. And at that time, there's gonna be no agent, I promise you, that's calling him in eight months because there's a tenant in there right now and he's looking to sell it next year. So it's like a four and a half million dollar listing right there. My sister's gonna yell at me because I don't have my sunglasses on. I always forget. <laughs> She's always like, have your sunglasses. This is gonna be uh, a guy, so he put his home on the market. We were supposed to meet yesterday. He put his home actually on the market months ago, four or five months ago, and then took it down because he had a deal. We got in there, took some pictures. I actually did a deal in the building and we were gonna list his. He found someone, again, for sale by owner, that's my specialty. And then the deal didn't go through. He's back in New York. He was actually trying to sell in California. So I just said, let's just meet. And that's this phone call right here. That was a great phone call. He actually cannot meet today, but he can meet tomorrow. And again, persistence, consistency is everything. I'll just go into this is there's that horn in New York City. This is this is what you have to vlog against. He can meet tomorrow, but he can't meet today. And, and one of the biggest things that he said was thank you for keep following up because most people they forget or they're too busy or they don't want to do it. So he appreciates it. You know, there's times that people don't want me to follow up and they just say it like, you know, we'll get in touch with you. And of course I just say, oh, okay, when should I follow up? I keep on saying that, but with him, he appreciates it. So that's uh, one of my biggest qualities, persistence and just keep on following up. I played rugby in college and I played a lot of sports in high school. Cool. I gotta tell you, I was not in as good a shape as I thought I was. I was getting exhausted, I was getting winded and things like that. Right now, the biggest benefit of being in the best shape that I am right now is that I don't sweat and I don't get tired or I don't get exhausted as easily. That's huge, you know? Like right now we're walking pretty fast, you know, for even New York standards and I feel fine, even in a suit and What's the temperature at? 80 degrees. That's one of the benefits of actually getting into shape for the first time in a while.
came out talking with the owner. This location is absolutely incredible. It's right off of West 12th and 6th Avenue. I'm a couple of blocks south. The space, to say the least, is a little bit unique. It's right now currently as a two bedroom, but ideally it's actually a studio. Someone would go in there, they would renovate it, full-time doorman. It's literally the ideal first home for whoever wants to move to the West Village, and it's just under $700,000. just said half an hour ago how good it was to be in shape and not sweat. Right now, we are like two subways below and it is so hot right now. I really just feel like just ripping this off and just be like. <sighs> I dropped Jojo off here. He has to go back and edit because he's going to the Holy Land for two and a half weeks. So you guys are going to be not having me. I don't know if that's a, a good or bad thing. So we'll end it right here. It's been a great time. Only four vlogs in and I already know that this is going to be something really, really big, really, really good. I'm getting more comfortable. Editing is coming out incredible. Super excited. Jojo, thank you. If you guys have any referrals for creative, shoot an email to studio at Botenston.com. We really want to build that portion up. And of course, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any feedback, let us know. I'm going to be going in. I'm going to grab lunch. We're going to have a real estate show, and then I'm going to be uh, continuing to make some phone calls. We had some really good progress.